Hi everyone, today on Surviving Yoga we are going to practice a really great core strengthening series. This is going to help to build your core strength and also build some self confidence. Now before you get started you definitely want to warm up, so I've listed a video in the description box below that's a great gentle warm up to do before you start this practice. Now let's get started. To start our core strengthening sequence, we're going to come into half moon pose, and this is a great pose to lengthen and trim your waistline. So feet together, heels slightly apart, inhale, reach up, keep your shoulders down away from your ears, interlace your fingers, release your pointer fingers, cross your thumbs. You're going to bring your arms back with your ears, stretch up nice and tall, inhale, exhale over to the right. Really reach out through both arms here push out through your left hip, try to keep your hips and your shoulders in line, open up your chest, start to come down a little bit deeper with each breath, feeling lots of length in your side body, one more breath, then inhale, come back up, reach up, you can reset here, roll out your shoulders, lengthen up, exhale, over to the left. Again, trying to keep your hips and your shoulders in line, keep the heels of your hands tightly clasped, and keep the weight in your heels. Open your chest, come down a little bit deeper for one more breath. Inhale, come back up to center, release your arms down, and then come to the top of your mat. From here we'll move into our first sun salutation and on each sun salutation we're going to add in a little bit more core work. So inhale, lift up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step back into your high plank. Really root down through your fingertips. From here we're going to come into side plank. So you can bring your right hand under the center line of your body, you're going to start to roll open, stack your feet, keep both feet flexed and engaged, lift up through your hips, you can bring your hand onto your waist, and if you're ready, you can open up towards the sky, really rooting down through your bottom hand, opening up, staying strong through your core, you might feel a bit of shaking, that's okay. One more breath and then drop your hand down to the mat, shift back into your high plank. We're just going to go through one vinyasa here, so come forward, low plank, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog for one breath, shift forward back into your plank, we'll come into side plank on the other side. So bring your left hand into the midline of your body, roll open, feet are flexed and stacked, you can bring your hand onto your waist, and when you're strong and steady, open up towards the sky, really rooting down through your hand to lift your hips up towards the sky, breathe deeply here, it's okay to feel a little bit of shaking, one more breath, come back, into your high plank pose, we're going to lower to low plank, inhale upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog. On the end of your exhale look forward, step your feet forward, halfway lift, exhale fold, inhale lift all the way up, exhale fold forward. Inhale, half lift, flat spine, plant your hands, step back, high plank. From our plank pose, we're going to lower down into a one minute dolphin plank and this is really great for your whole abdominal region. So you're going to lower down onto your forearms, just quickly measure, grasp onto your opposite elbows, then interlace your fingers in front of you. You're going to push out through your heels, you're going to tuck your tailbone and really create space between your shoulder blades here. So you don't want to sag through your back and you don't want to push your bum up too much. You just want to create a nice straight line with your tailbone tucked. Now we're going to start to time one minute. So really breathe deeply here. It's okay if you feel a little bit of shaking. 
This is great for toning your abs, toning your back muscles. If you start to sag as the pose goes on, just re-engage, tuck your tailbone. Keep breathing, you're doing a great job. You should feel your ab muscles really turned on here. We've just got about 10 more seconds left. Take two more deep breaths. One more. And then gently lower down. You're gonna plant your hands, come up through table, and come into a nice child's pose here. We're gonna hold child's pose here for three deep breaths. On each breath, let your breathing return to normal a little bit more. One more. Then we're going to come up through tabletop position, walk your hands out, come back into our high plank, lower, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, Downward facing dog for one breath, inhale, exhale. Step your feet forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, lift all the way up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, plant your hands, step back, high plank. From high plank, we're gonna lower low plank, Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we're really gonna start to work our core from the downward dog position. Lift your right leg up into the sky, curl in, rounding your spine, bringing your knee to your nose. Inhale, leg up. Exhale, come forward, bring your knee to your right elbow. Inhale, up. Twisting through your obliques, knee to your left elbow. Inhale up, curl your spine, knee to nose. Inhale up, knee to right, uh, <laughs> knee to right elbow. Inhale up, knee to the outside of left elbow. You can pick up the speed, inhale up, knee to nose. Inhale up, right elbow. Inhale up, left elbow, one more round. Inhale up to your nose. Inhale, right elbow. Inhale, left elbow. Inhale, bring it up, lower down. From here, we'll repeat the whole sequence on the left side. Inhale your left leg up, round your spine, knee to nose. Up, left elbow. Up, outside of right elbow, twisting those obliques. We'll do three more rounds. Knee to nose, lift, left elbow. Right elbow, knee to nose. Two more, left elbow, right elbow. One more, knee to nose. Left elbow, right elbow, lift your leg up, drop it down, shift into your high plank, lower, upward facing dog, downward facing dog, one breath. Look forward, step forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, Lift all the way up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, plant your hands, step back, high plank, lower all the way down to the mat, and just rest your cheek on the side of the mat. Lay your hands beside your body. We're just gonna take two or three deep breaths here. 
Letting your body cool down, calm down a little bit from all the work it just did. From here, bring your hands back under your chest. It's going to push up into your tabletop position, come back onto your heels, and just shift over, and we're going to come down onto our back for a little bit more core work. So from here, lower down onto your back. We're going to do a little bit more core work here. So what we're going to do, we're going to lift our shoulders off the ground. We're going to lift our feet off the ground, engage your whole body here. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. We'll do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Really hug it in this time. And then we'll exhale, lie all the way down. From here, we're gonna lift our legs straight up into the air. Now, if you have any discomfort in your lower back here, I often do, we're just gonna put our palms under our hip bones, and then we're gonna lift all the way up. We're just gonna do some leg raises here. This is another great abdominal exercise. Keeping your feet nice and engaged, we're gonna slowly start to lower our legs all the way down, stopping when we're just slightly below the ground, Inhale, back up. Exhale, lower. Really trying to keep your lower back pushed into the mat this whole time. That's gonna help keep your ab muscles engaged. Inhale, up. We'll do three more. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Two more. Exhale, down. Inhale, up. Really try to slow down the motion. That's gonna really help to build core strength. And up, curl it in. You can give yourself a nice big hug, roll around a little bit. And then we're just gonna come down into bound angle pose, really allowing our abdominal muscles to stretch out here. You can let your hands rest beside your body. And then bringing your knees in, we'll do one more counter stretch to stretch out our abs. So we're just gonna bring our feet close into our hips. We're gonna try to keep our hips, knees, feet, all hip distance apart throughout this whole exercise. Roll your shoulders under your body. Start to lift up through your hips. Interlace your hands behind your back. Tuck your shoulder blades under a little bit more. Lift up through your hips really stretching out through your whole abdominal region here. Keep your chin tucked. Breathe deeply. Keep your knees nice and close together. And then untuck your shoulders. Slowly roll down all the way to the mat. And then from here, just let your legs come out nice and wide. Let your arms relax and take some nice deep breaths in relaxation. You might feel a little sweaty, especially if you're outside in the heat. You might feel your heart beating strongly. So just keep these breaths nice and long to give your body a chance to relax and return to normal. And you can stay in relaxation for as long as you'd like. And when you're ready to come up, just slightly roll over to one side, lift up, and you can come back to center, cross your legs, bring your hands to your heart, lift your chest, tuck your chin slightly. And thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. A strong core is a great way to prep for really fun arm balances and also just a wonderful way to build self-confidence. Namaste.